guys, Waterfaller41 here, and in today's quick little video, we're going to be installing a vinyl cover for the center of my shift knob here. So the fellas over at Sofith Gen sent me two of these little center uh, shift knob vinyl overlays. So they sent me one in white carbon and then another one in gray carbon. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know I posted a poll this morning asking you all which one I should go with on my Rebel, and by unanimous decision, the gray one. So what we're going to do here today is install the gray on here. It'll be a nice touch to the Rebel, uh, to the shift knob. I'm not crazy about you know putting anything really over the top on the the interior of my truck. I like how low key everything is. The red is enough for me, but I think this is a nice little touch for the center of the shift knob. So we're gonna go ahead and install this. Um, these are about, I think they're about $4 on their website. They got white carbon, gray carbon, and then they have a camouflage, like a multi, a green multi-cam camo uh, print, which would be pretty sweet. However, with the interior of my truck, with the red and everything, I wanna keep things kind of low key. So we're gonna go ahead with the gray one here. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take isopropyl alcohol here and we're gonna wipe down the center here and make sure we get all the Corona off uh, before we go ahead and take our vinyl sticker and install it. Then because this is a curved surface, we're gonna install this in the center and then we're gonna use some heat. We're gonna hit it with the heat gun a little bit and then use our finger to basically spread things from the inside all the way out to make sure we don't get any wrinkles. Then from there, we are done. So again, quick little project. These are available on their website. I'll leave a link to these guys down in the description below and probably even put a card up in the top uh, corner of this video. But let's go ahead and get that shift knob cleaned and get this guy ready to go. All right, so like I said, the first thing we're gonna do is clean the Rona off with some isopropyl. So I'll just take some of that, put it on a paper towel real quick. You don't need a crazy amount. I use 70% isopropyl because that's what my wife has up in the cupboard above. Take it and just gently wipe it down. That gets all the crap off there and the grease and everything from your fingers. That way you got a super clean surface to install everything on. And since it's pretty much mostly alcohol, it's gonna dry pretty fast. It'll evaporate off there. So, we'll let that dry there. And then the next thing, it's pretty simple, is just take your vinyl sticker, pull it off of the backing, and then place it in the center. And then from there, we're gonna use heat to heat up the sticker so it's a little bit more malleable, and then carefully spread it out on the shift knob itself. So this might take a few attempts at trying to get this guy centered, but once we do get it centered, then it's pretty simple. So I think we're uh, we're dry there. Pull it off. It's a super thick sticker. So it's carbon, so you got a pattern here. So we're just going to take that pattern whoop, and go from right to left with it. Let's see if that's centered. Yeah, that's centered. All right. So I'm going to do that. Grab my heat gun here. Don't gotta get crazy with the heat. That warm up a little bit. There you go, just kind of slowly. There you go. So again, you just kind of slowly start in the middle and then work your way to the outside. And we are installed, so there it is. That is pretty slick, looks nice, very nice touch. The gray was a good choice though, I'll give you guys that. So again, if you don't follow my Instagram, definitely please do that because I do post a lot of polls and it kind of dictates the way I go with a lot of these projects, but I also give kind of a sneak peek of some of the videos to come. So, like I said, this is a pretty simple project. These were sent over from the guys at SoFit Gen. They got a couple different colors. There's the gray carbon, which is what I have. That looks really nice with the rest of the Rebel interior. Then there is also the white carbon as well as a green multi-cam pattern. So definitely check them out. Check out their uh, YouTube channel. They're doing some pretty sick stuff as well with their rims, the white and the black one. But with that said, this is a pretty simple, quick installation video. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.